One thing you can guarantee at Dollar Tree during Valentine's Day is that most of the store's ceilings are just completely covered in their helium balloons. Not only that, but they always carry latex balloons year round too, and I have so many awesome ideas to share with you today using balloons from Dollar Tree. And before we get started, I want to say hello. My name is Shannon, the Daily DIYer. I want to welcome you here today. If you are new, welcome to the DIY family. I'm so excited about this video. I've had these ideas for so long. So excited to finally share them with you. I also want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Now let's get right into the Dollar Tree balloon hacks and ideas right now. All right, let's get going and head on into Dollar Tree. Obviously, I grabbed lots of mylar balloons love them so much this one i surprised my husband this is a great way to surprise someone that you love i have a personal little printer which i love and i use it for crafting decorating i'll link it down below if you don't have one head to a department store that has a photo department and they're pretty cheap uh, i also grabbed these chalkboard hearts from dollar tree two packs of them eight total so i printed six photos and then I have another idea for the other two. You're going to need some double-sided tape and go ahead and stick your photos onto the hearts. I decided to change my mind here and went more vertical versus horizontal, just pressing down so they stick really well onto those hearts. Went ahead and did that for all six of my photos. It's always fun to look back at memories. These are some photos from Halloween, our favorite date nights, vacations, our wedding, holidays. Just love it. Can't, couldn't wait to surprise him with those memories. Now, the other two that I left plain, I came in with a chalk marker and wrote some little messages on there too. If you didn't want to do photos at all, you could just do all messages even, or just do all photos if you didn't want to do the messages. But I think it'd be really cute too if you wrote maybe some of the things you love about the special person that you are gifting this idea to. Now you're going to take the ribbon on the balloon and luckily these chalkboards already have a little hole in the top so just feed it right through there and tie a little bow onto it and you want to do these at varying heights so when we have them displayed they're not all the very same height. Some tall, some short and the cool thing is, is these chalkboards also double as a balloon weight and the photo ones actually add quite a bit of weight to them so they're not going to go blowing away. Then you can go ahead and set them up wherever you want I thought our bed was a great place it's away from our puppy but if you wanted to you could do this on a dining room table or on a front porch if you wanted to surprise someone or even on a couch wherever works for you but this is just a really fun special little thing to do for Valentine's Day for someone you love I love the idea of creating homemade gifts, especially for Valentine's Day. It just puts that personal touch and spin on them. And another great way to really put your own personal spin on the holiday is to create your own homemade meals to celebrate. And I love that HelloFresh makes that super easy and simple to do. Are you looking for an easy way to eat well and save money this year? Cut back on expensive takeout and delivery and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal right in your own kitchen. This would also make for the perfect Valentine's Day meal for a couple or family. There is so much to love about HelloFresh. I love how fast and fresh all of the recipes are. And they even have the latest line of meals that features robust flavors and filling portions that are ready in less than 15 minutes. And I think the best part of all is we're all trying to save money this time of year, but did you know that HelloFresh helps you save money all year round? In fact, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I feel like I am just always super duper busy, but HelloFresh saves me so much time. No trips to the grocery store. It all comes right to your front door. The meals are quick and easy to follow and they whip up super fast too. Our whole family loves HelloFresh night. We know we're going to get a great meal and we're all going to love it. There's never been a single meal we have not enjoyed. 
If you've never tried HelloFresh before, now is the absolute best time to give it a try. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code THEDAILYDIYER21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's right. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com, use code THEDAILYDIYER21 to get 21 free meals and free shipping. I'll have more information linked down in the description box below. Now let's take these Mylar balloons up a notch, take them to the next level, make them extra special. For this, we're gonna need a sheet of tissue paper. This is also from Dollar Tree. And actually, you really only need half a sheet. So we're gonna fold this piece of tissue paper in half lengthwise and cut down that seam. Set aside the other half, we don't need that, but we are gonna take the first half and fold that in half again. Lots of halves going on here. Take the top and then fold it down about an inch. That's gonna give us a little guideline as to where we need to take our scissors and cut slits all the way from the bottom up to that seam. And we're gonna go ahead and do that all the way across from the right to the left. Now the left side is gonna have a seam on it. We're gonna rip that last piece off. So now we have two pieces of this little fringed tissue paper. We're gonna take our plain Mylar balloon here, or you could do this to any balloon really. And we're gonna take a stapler and we're gonna staple these streamers onto the bottom of our balloon. So they're kind of hanging down. I had seen really fancy, but also very pricey balloons with these streamers hanging off of them. This is a much more budget friendly way to dress up your balloons. However, do keep in mind the weight that you're gonna be adding with the tissue paper and the staples. So only two little strands back to back stapled together and onto the bottom of your balloon will do it. Otherwise it will be too heavy and will weigh it all the way down. And we want it to float really pretty in the air. Back to our Mylar balloons. Of course, they come plain, and Dollar Tree has some pretty Valentine's Day balloons too. But what if you really want to personalize them? Well, you can use vinyl and a vinyl machine like I'm showing you here. No worries, I have other options for you too if you do not have a vinyl machine. But if you do, you can just use some permanent vinyl, cut out a little saying, make sure to add a name, that's what really personalizes it. And vinyl sticks right onto the front of these balloons, so it just takes it from something plain and simple into one that really has some thought and it makes it so, so cute too. Another piece of advice here is to use the masking tape style transfer tape so it doesn't pull on the mylar of the balloon and accidentally pop it. You also wanna put this right in the center of your balloon. Use your hand, work from the middle outside because there is a little bit of a curvature to these balloons and that will help you make the vinyl kind of wrap around and form to the shape of the balloon. Once you have it put on there, take your squeegee to get the rest of the vinyl on there and then peel off your transfer tape to leave behind your design. Now my font just didn't really like to be cut out so well so I am just taking a marker in here and filling in what didn't transfer. So that's another option for you. You can always take a Sharpie marker instead of using vinyl and write or color or create your own design on the front of these balloons. That works too. And here is a third option for you too. Like I said, you don't have to have a vinyl cutter to decorate the balloons. Dollar Tree has these wall stickers. I found these really pretty uh, metallic gold butterflies that I thought would be really, really pretty on these balloons. Sure enough, I love these because they have like a clear uh, note to them. So it really looks like they're part of the balloon itself. Like it came that way, but they're custom made when you do it like this, which I love. So I just threw a few of these butterflies onto the balloon to dress them up. And what I love too is that Dollar Tree has so many different styles of these wall stickers. They even have letter stickers and number stickers. So if you really wanted to get creative, you could put different sayings on here, a name on here, whatever you want, whatever design, whatever the person that you're gifting this to really, really loves, which makes it super special. Now those were great Mylar balloon ideas, but now let's move on to some latex balloon ideas. I love that Dollar Tree has so many choices. We're gonna grab a pack of red balloons and also one of these baskets. The cool thing about these baskets I didn't realize is they actually come in a set of two. You're only gonna need one for this project, but if you're gonna make multiple, that's gonna save you some money. You're also going to need some red and white uh, 
paper straws, also from Dollar Tree, just using some regular tape to tape three of them on there, one at the base and two at the top of the heart. Then we're gonna take one of those red balloons and blow it up as much as we possibly can. We want it pretty big. The reason we're doing that is because we want this balloon to be able to sit on top of those straws just like this and it'll kind of rest on there and we're making our own little hot air balloon gift basket. You'll just take some regular tape again and we're going to stick that onto the straws and right onto the balloon so it stays in place. Then you can just fill your basket with whatever goodies you want. I used some of that tissue paper and also found this cute little bear at Dollar Tree and stuck him right in the basket do treats, do candy, do toys, whatever you want to do. Then I also found these glass stickers at Dollar Tree. You don't have to necessarily use them for glass though, and it had a really pretty heart with love in the middle of there. So I brought that home, stuck that right on the balloon, just dressed it up just a little bit more, made it more for Valentine's Day. If you're looking for more Dollar Tree DIYs and inspiration, I have a QR code popping up on your screen. You can pause it, scan that code. It will take you over to my Instagram page where you'll find lots more ideas. If you don't want to do that, I'll also have it linked down in the description box below. This next idea is so awesome. You're going to need three different colors of latex balloons, and you're also going to need one of these smaller sized mylar balloons that don't have the helium in them, but they're more stiff and they're on these sticks at Dollar Tree. We're going to use them to make a balloon tower. So we're going to set aside the mylar balloon and you need four balloons of each one of those three colors. My husband was awesome and brought me this air compressor to blow all these balloons up so I didn't have to do it myself. Dollar Tree does have the little pumps. I wish I would have got one. So word of advice here, when you're at Dollar Tree, grab one of their balloon pumps too because that'll save you your lungs. Basically, it will save your lungs. So what we're doing is we're going to blow up all of these balloons. We're going to start with the first color. And we're going to blow those up to the largest size. You need four, like I said, and we're going to tie two of those balloons together, set those aside, tie two of the other balloons together. And then we're going to take those two sets and we're going to wrap those around each other in the middle to make one big balloon set. So this is going to be the base of our tower. You want those balloons to lay flat, one right next to each other in kind of a circular pattern. Your next color, you want to keep the first color a little bit handy because you're going to blow up the second color a little bit smaller than the first. But doing the same thing, blowing up four balloons, doing two sets of two, and then connecting those in the middle. And then the very last set of balloons, you're going to do the same thing, but these are going to be your four smallest balloons total. But still, we want four total all connected in the middle, and that's gonna be the top of our tower. Now, when you're stacking this tower together, you want each layer to kind of offset each other. So the middle row kind of sits in the middle opening, same thing with the top. That way you kind of have an offset look. We are gonna attach these all together just using some string. You can use yarn, you can use twine, you can use jute, just something that's not gonna pop your balloons. Don't pull it too tight, you can see now one big set of balloons. Now back to our mylar balloon. We're gonna take the stick off and then we're just gonna use some regular tape, kind of flip it over so it makes the loop and then it's double-sided all the way around. And we're gonna stick two pieces, one on each side and stick that right on top of our tower. I feel like this has such a grand look and it is so unique, but such a fun way to just gift someone your love on Valentine's Day or a birthday. You could change the colors. You could put a stuffed animal on top. You could make this even taller, which I love. I surprised my girls and I put this in their bedroom and it was a great surprise for them. Oh my goodness, are these heart-shaped balloons at Dollar Tree so fun. They're not just heart-shaped. They also have confetti in them. How cute is that? We're going to need four of those along with one solid color balloon. We're going to make a heart flower. So you're going to take your first balloon, go ahead, blow it up, and we're going to tie it off. Now I started off, I had this grander idea. I was going to have five of these balloons total. Bad idea. One of them popped, so I'm going to say do it just like we did the last one where you do two together, two together, and then connect the two in the middle so you have four all the way around instead of five. It was just too big. It didn't lay flat. And when I tried to force it, one of them popped. 
So here we have four of them. We're going to take our solid color balloon and that's going to be the center of our flower. We're just going to tie the tail of this balloon all the way around until it stays and look how cute this is. I feel like you could maybe add this on top of like a pool noodle or something to give it a stem if you wanted. I stuck it right to the wall with some double sided tape for some cute decor. You could also just gift it to someone, put it on their car, put it on their bed and makes for a fun surprise. And here's another great way to surprise someone you love with those same heart-shaped balloons. Since they're clear, I thought it'd be fun to fill them with some treats. So they're pretty small and it's kind of hard to tuck little treats in there. So you have to keep things pretty small. So I put three of these chocolates inside of this balloon, blew it up, not too big. And then we're going to also make it extra cute with a couple extra little things as well. I did try to put that bear in there, it just didn't work. So if you have tricks on how to get big things in small balloons, I would love to know about it. Let me know down in the comments below if you have tips and tricks for that. The candy works though. We're going to add a little stem on there with a paper straw from Dollar Tree. And then I thought it'd be cute to add a little tag as well. So it's just a piece of cardstock. We're going to cut it down into a strip, fold it over. I cut it down a little bit more so it wasn't too big. We're going to take some scissors and cut the corners off of the folded side so you can actually open it up like a regular card. Take a hole punch, punch a hole in the folded end, and then we're going to use some ribbon to tie that onto the paper straw. Don't forget to write a sweet little note inside of your card. I also dressed up my card. I had a couple stickers left from the glass stickers from the hot air balloon project from earlier. So I stuck that onto the front of the card, which looked really cute and just an easy gift idea. I would love to know how many of you made it to the end of this video. Leave me a pink heart emoji down in the comments below. No matter how you celebrate Valentine's Day this year, I'm wishing you a day filled with love and happiness. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video. Subscribe if you are new, and I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.